Yeah, Desperado Tequila. I think their canteen is bigger than your hands. <laughs> Shush! I'm a thirsty person. Oh, of course you are. Damn it. <laughs> I'm going to get changed. I don't want to reveal my secret weapon. Secret weapon? Uh, are you also a native as well? Ha, huh. I am Namana. Comanche. Oh, Comanche. I am ah. certain that your people have left Moscow. No, sorry, your I'm people sorry. are very respectful. Yeah, I don't know if you were around when that happened. How dare you? When was this? To uh, about Moscow, when me and my <laughs> who I call father was having our saloon out here. I'm not complaining. Uh, I have a week and a half thoughts to a myself. A big Comanche trade suddenly showed up. And then, out of nowhere, they just vanished. What was his name? Oh, I think, oh, something wolf, I think it was. Blood wolf. Blood wolf, yes. Mm. I know what you speak of, but uh, I'm not part of his band. Oh, uh, yeah, but uh, his band has done bad things though, as well, which might be why they left. They I've were... heard this. Ah, uh, he's Kamechi. You know, I can show you this, uh, their, their tribe. If you want, I can help you get, claim that kip. Anybody, anybody at all want some house drinks on the house? I think the I know what kip you speak of. Say, the finest whiskey, the finest the tequila. Finest uh, courtesy of the Cunningham uh, newspaper and yes. Desperado Distillery, uh, tequila-wise. Uh, anybody who wants a drink, please come see me. Oklahoma, it is free of charge on the house offer of those two companies. Please come, 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 come to the bar. I was raised in here, but uh, I myself was born on the same reservation. It's really a vacation spot, Michael. I have lived out here for a while, but... And I have met Kudlet, and now you can see that she has a good spirit. So, oh. when I first met her, I wanted to make sure she is safe, because good people with good spirit deserve to have happiness, I believe. How long have you knew her? I think about a month. Not no more. But you know, she is a good woman and She is a house at the very far east. By Anna's book. Oof, too far from me. Mm, yes. I'm off I'm off duty, so But I, I think our people right travel far no, though. You uh, told him to stay out of the box. Oh no, I told I told him just to keep track of just remember that I keep track of what's in there. So if uh, there was more than uh, reasonable or deeming reasonable uh, missing then uh, then I might take issue. So what bollocks is this? So there you go, Arty. Oh hello William, it's good to see you again. I have no Hello. idea, but it's some meeting. I am just going... Mm. Some meeting with Licken. Mm. Oh, by the way, to the man next to me is Komechi. Oh, hello, fellow. Huh? Can I hear my name? Hello. Good to meet you, fellow. You as well. Oh. What is your name? William. What's yours? Wise Eyes. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. You as well. Who the That's fuck the are the these people? Uh, let me know if you can't reach it from there, because it might be a the little weird. The man behind the counter, I think his name is Orchi. Okay. Point of Corlette. Yeah, I know him, yeah. I mean, I thought this was like a residence meeting, or is this just a... I don't because, know. Because <laughs> fucking... Oh, the residence, I recognize maybe two Are people. you telling me there's no other thirsty folks uh, in this bar of all places? Oh, come on. Step How up, are these people fucking on live now? here? Might be grabbing the bar. Actually, after the meeting, I may see if everything's okay at the committee camp. Okay, well, uh, pleasure to see y'all coming out this way. 
Uh, we'll get started now, since it is uh, the time. I think some folks might have been a bit confused by my telegram, but thankfully uh, y'all weren't, so that's good. Anywho, for those who don't know me, my name's Lincoln McCormick. Uh, mm -hmm. Myself and my sister, Arizona, we run the Outlaws Rest Saloon and have been for a long time now. Uh, we are both residents of New Austin, going many years now. This place is our home, and it became our home in a time when this place was, for lack of a better word, far worse. We had no butcher, no banker. It was, wasn't even a stable here. It was amazing that we had a working telegram line. But through a combination of uh, my own works, especially that of my sister, we've turned Armadillo into at least a place that we've been able to call home. But as some of you may have seen in a letter that we published, it's about high time that this town stops just merely surviving, and it's time that it starts thriving. Seen this kind of so works. our plan is plain and simple. We're putting together funds to rebuild the town in its entirety. Not just a couple of buildings. We tear down the burnt out one at the end of the street, we're putting something new there. Tailor shops, barber shop, gun store, craftsman, brewery, uh, another whole, uh, I guess you'd call it a saloon, is the plan. I mean, I'm not afraid of a little competition in town. In fact, I welcome it. And then this entire thing is, we want it to be a product of the people's wants and desires, not the government, not the department, not the marshals, none of them. And don't get me wrong, we do welcome the assistance of the Surgeon General in the back there, Dr. Henrietta, uh, who is currently in contact with Dr. Molly Wong, who's there on the couch, who just stood up randomly. <laughs> uh, Molly there is a resident of New Austin, possibly living out here even longer than uh, myself and my family. So when it comes to uh, someone that we trust to be in charge of things on a medical uh, sense, we trust her. Now to address uh, a comment made, in terms of uh, one person leading the whole thing. At the very least, my sister and I will be headed up the uh, process of reconstruction. And that means collecting the funds and dishing out those funds where they need to go. Be that to independent businesses looking to provide materials and labor, or be that to purchasing materials ourselves as well as things like new furnishings, other construction equipment, tools, all that kind of thing. And it's going to be a bit of an effort. It's This is not going to be uh, something that we get done in a week. Hell, not even two. This is going to take us a little bit. But the purpose of this meeting and other meetings that will follow is that we are looking for folks who are willing and able to step up and volunteer for specific parts of the construction. Like I said, we're going to be having a tailor shop, a gun shop, barber shop, a brewery. Other buildings will be constructed, as well as this uh, Raven's Rest is going to be moving their uh, franchise, well, setting up a franchise out here in the undertaker's office. Other businesses will be welcome to set up shop as well, provide y'all can behave. Because I know how, uh, trust me, I know how tricky it can get when you try to all fight over one spot for business. But the purpose of this meeting is to see who would like to step forward for that, as well as to answer any other questions. We've also, uh, to the effect of Armadillo and no what we aim to see in the future. I like what he's saying. There was Maybe a point, a point of once idea. where we had ourselves a community out here before the law came. And as far as I'm concerned, that community was divided into three little groups. Me and my folks, we went by the name the New Austin Rangers after I left the department because the department refused to come out here and patrol and protect folk. The settlers themselves I don't think and a war band of Comanche led by this. Chief Looks for War. Mm. As strenuous as that relationship could be at times and outright violent, 
there was a brief moment where everyone came together, truly, as a community and as a united front, so to say. Admittedly, that shared reason was because we all hated the White Hats, because they would just come down here and talk their talk and then leave. They wouldn't do anything. Them times has passed, but I don't see a reason why we can't have that community again. Now, I can't speak to what will happen exactly, but a town hall is going to be constructed out round on the northern side of town. There will be meeting rooms, offices, possibly space for uh, trials to go down in, but uh, otherwise my personal goal, as it has always been, is for Armadillo and in turn New Austin to be able to look out for itself and for it to be able to look out for its people. And if we can solve our own problems out here, then great. And as much as I, uh, as much as I do sometimes hate to admit it, I am currently still a, sher a sheriff's deputy with the sheriff's department. My patrols are more often out here than not. And don't get me wrong, law and order is necessary, but it's never going to be as ironclad as it is out east. And I think I speak for quite a few folk who live out here. I think we'd all prefer it to remain somewhat like that. Mm -hmm. I know I sure as hell do, but I won't speak for each of you. Uh, good seeing you again. You as well. Uh, so what have you say? decided, have you and your brother decided to stay here? Oh, uh, we're not sure yet. Oh, well, it seems your sister found him. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. His name is Tabe Yitzabe. It's not Sunspear. Sunspear, right? Oh. Dakota, correct? Yes, that would be me. I must uh, go now, but I may be back soon. Maybe we can have a conversation. Yeah, we, just, we would love that. Uh, uh, have you thought of getting your camp back by St. Louis? Do you speak of the camp deep in New Austin? Yes, it is deep is there. Who lives there? So far, no one I know of, but though I have claimed it because this one we were keeping you safe. Yes, because, uh, because... I was wondering who this ledger belonged to. Oh, well, so, what's go? Cool? Me and William has, I, I found some strange tracks going through your teepees. And since after what happened to a PT, I thought of an idea. You know, we didn't want your people to get deal, had to deal with that same thing. So, I have bought the gift to keep it safe. And then, when, if your people come back, I was going to give it to you. Well, I greatly appreciate this, and we'll talk about this uh, whenever I return, which will be uh, soon. I should actually go to you, Kev, and make sure that I can... Uh, oh, yes, sure I, can I need to get the money out to pay for it, yes. Because if I lose that camp, we're going to have to find more resources. Uh, yes. It's going to be... Well, so, do what you must do, huh? Yes, I will uh, go back. All right, I, I can wire the money from Blackwater, and I can right. meet you back here. Uh, I'll... See you soon. Uh, yeah, we go get the money of Blackwater. Thank you.